A new report due out Monday offers more evidence that humans are the main cause of climate change. Terrell Brown introduces us to a group of adventurers who saw for themselves the effects of global warming, trying to row across Canada's usually frozen Arctic. The four men launched this fiberglass and wood rowboat from Canada's Northwest Territory in July, heading east toward Greenland. Their route was part of the so-called Northwest Passage, the Arctic waters between Europe and Asia. For centuries, frozen ice made it impassable. Countless explorers have died uh, in the Northwest Passage just because of it. it's been chock full of ice over hundreds of years. Kevin Valley. And we really wanted to bring awareness to that by traversing it solely under human power in a 25-foot rowboat. No engine and no sails. Just two men at a time rowing, changing shifts every three hours. You know, we did go for 50, 60, 70 hours at a time. And we got into the groove of doing that. You get a little sleep deprived, but you do get your naps. We needed to keep moving in order to, well, we just had to get somewhere. Moving, on average, 21 miles a day. Rower Frank Wolf documented the voyage and shared this footage with CBS News. At anchor, we could just all four of us squeeze in there kind of like sardines. And if you imagine like four dudes in a boat uh, about a month in having eaten just freeze-dried food, what that would have smelled like. No baths unless they swam in the frigid waters. Solar panels powered a desalinator that let them drink seawater. The rowers collected data for Canadian scientists. Besides thinning ice, wildlife was another indicator of climate change. They expected to see herds of muskox and caribou, but it was a surprise to see grizzly bears roaming in polar bear country. They're seeing all these species up there that never used to be up there coming up from the south and now living in the Arctic. In case grizzly set their sights on them, the rowers slept with a shotgun, but never had to use it. The wind was their worst enemy, sometimes making it impossible to row. In the end, it was the journey that mattered the most. We learned so much out there, and we tried everything we could, and we got to the end, and where we stopped, we had to stop. The rowers suspended their journey at Victoria Island after 55 days and 1,163 miles, making it halfway to Greenland. Terrell Brown, CBS News, New York.